you have made a purposeful pivot and it really shouldn't be perfect purposeful in the sense of like you playing characters that were not necessarily meant to be played by black men shouldn't even be a thing but yet it is a thing unfortunately in hollywood and i took a particular interest when i saw that you are going to be um remaking one of my favorite movies which is the thomas crown affair is that correct yeah that's my favorite dog like that shit mm -hmm. that is going to be major i mean not like this is a major no 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 i get it yeah but that's i mean you're gonna be on some like billionaire playboy type espionage you know hijinks type <laughs> of shit i'm like oh my god like i'm super excited about that just tell me how this came to be because i'm I, again i'm as a person who's seen that movie five million times <laughs> um i can't wait to see your spin on this thank you no i mean same type of like you know, appreciation for it. I think, you know, it's one of those movies every time it's on, it's like I'm watching it. Like it's 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 on the t on the TV. Um it kind of started from I guess the first time I did Creed, you know, um, and being at MGM, it's MGM title, you know, looking through, you know, a studio's library to figure out what other things they have in there. It was like, all right, cool. Wow, I got this. Um can I develop that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's figure it out. You know, it was really like it was really that simple. Um, and finding ways to, um, you know, trying to find the right take. You know, how to how do you? And it's taking some time, but I think once we get it, you know, it's going to be something that um, that I, I look forward to doing fairly fairly like soon. But you know, like I said, that that type of life, I, I haven't seen too many characters uh, that look like us in that world. And I think it's, it was enough time removed uh, between like the 99 version, you know, um, and, and today that even a lot of my generation, you say Thomas Crown, they don't really know what that is. You know, I don't think they really know that title. So to kind of give a, a new uh, take on it, uh, I thought was a, was, a, was a cool idea and something I'm excited about doing. Um, making that uh, pivot into playing um, these kind of characters, does it take you turning down certain things? I'm just curious, how do you actually do that? Because you know, a lot of black actors, that's what they want to do. It's like, they want to play everybody and be considered for everybody. Easier said than done. Sometimes, like I, I had this conversation with Anthony Mackie and he talked about the roles he was offered after 8 Mile. Like all of them was the same roles, right? Mm -hmm, and I'm mm -hmm. sure once you're successful at something, you know, like after Fruitvale, I can only imagine what was coming across especially given your history on the wire they probably all wanted you to do the same thing so when you are trying to get and make sure hollywood doesn't put you in a box is this a matter of you having to turn down certain things and be more selective or what kind of intentionality is what i'm getting at do you have to have to actually accomplish this it, it has to be intentional you know i think i think you know trying to find the right way to phrase this uh it, it's like Sometimes I think you're, def you're defined by what you say no to, you know? And I think, I think, you know, and I, I've, I've been fortunate enough and blessed to turn down a lot, you know, uh, that I didn't feel was moving me in a direction that I wanted to go towards, you know, have, having a plan really helps, you know, strategizing and thinking for long, the long game, I think is really important. Uh, but sometimes it's really, really hard to do that when, um, the patience you need to have for your career strategy doesn't financially line up with the lifestyle or like living. So I think that's something that, you know, everybody doesn't have the luxury to have that patience. So sometimes you'll take a job, you know, that is probably like, eh, but financially it's like, cool, well, it's giving me the, the room I need to maybe audition for something else that I really, really want to do, you know? So, and, and sometimes, you know, you'll get in the habit of like taking roles that financially pay well, but may not be moving your career down the line that you wanted to, but you're willing to take that compromise because I'm financially like doing good, you know? So I think there's a, there, there's just the, the willingness to, to have that patience or not, you know, and it, it's really up to the person. Uh, for me, you know, I've, I've been blessed to, to, to be patient and the ones that I have, you know, uh, decided to be a part of have moved me in, 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 in the right direction, you know, um, creating my own IP, creating my own opportunities, you know, I think was, was something that I learned really early. Um, and it started to pay off, 
you know, um, sooner than later. So, you know, everybody has their own path. You know, I, th I think, you know, every, everybody can, you know, they, they, they can, there could be a blueprint, you know, if everybody stuck to the blueprint, is everybody going to be successful? Probably not, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, what's for you is for you and can't nobody take that away from you. I really firmly believe that, you know, this is just the path that I've been walk, uh, walking down and, um, you know, just trying to make the right decisions moving forward. I haven't really chased the money. <laughs> well, that that is good because you're right. There's a lot of actors who are really talented who wind up taking these roles because, you know, those bills got to, they're not going to pay themselves, right? So I think, get it. I think it's, it's, a, it's a bit of that, and which also really, you know, and understanding what that is, is also something that drove me to start my own production company, to start to create more opportunities for other people. You know, I really enjoy seeing other people win. So it's like, all right, you know, m you know, my shit is like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm good, you know, I'm developing a lot of the things either for myself, but then I have a lot of, you know, great incoming phone calls, but I can't do everything, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna do everything, you know what I mean? And, and it's something where it's like, being able to create that vehicle for talent, I think is extremely important. So looking at, you know, other talented people, other talented folks in front of the camera, behind the camera, like how can I be of service? How can I create the thing, you know, for you to be successful or something that, um, you know, I always enjoyed it. And, and now that I have the power to do that, you know, it's a uh, it's watch, it's gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. You said you don't, um, you can't do everything. And one, I read this and you can tell me if this was true or false that you mm -hmm. you turned down um, playing Dr. Dre and Straight Outta Compton. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what was, uh, was part of the reason or I, I'm not gonna even guess, what was the reason that you decided <laughs> to pass on no, that? Yeah, it, it was, you know, it just wasn't for me. You know, I, I just feel like, you know, certain, and I have my own idea about biopics in general, you know, it's really uh, at, at where I was in, in my career, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like that would, like me being famous or people knowing exactly who I am, me playing Dre, I, it was better for somebody who had more of a, 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 a cleaner palette. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, and there's certain roles that's like Jamie. Jamie Foxx can play damn near whoever. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a chameleon in that type of way. He can really blend into these characters. You know, for myself, it's like, I'm, uh, that wasn't, that wasn't my path. That wasn't the thing for me. Um, and yeah, 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 yeah. And that just wasn't, it just wasn't, it wasn't the right one. Yeah, I was super flattered by it. Like I said, you can't play everybody. You can't do everything. I can't play you know, Dr. Dre and, you know, this historical figure, that historical figure, that historical figure, this historical, like that just wasn't my, that wasn't my path. You know?